Hi and welcome to another lesson from Getting Started with WordPress, a free online course by The Click Starter. Use this video as a guide and follow along on your own computer. In this lesson, we will learn how to install WordPress via FTP. This will be one of the more technical lessons, so please refer to the accompanying notes. You should also know that you can also install WordPress automatically with an automatic installer on web hosts like Bluehost. If you already have WordPress installed and running, feel free to skip ahead to the next lesson. Sometimes we may want or need to install WordPress manually. Doing so gives us finer grain control over our installation and access to more advanced settings. Before we begin, we'll need three things. First of all, we will need our web hosting account details. Your web host would have provided your control panel login and FTP information when you first signed up. Next, we'll need the FTP client like Core FTP, Fuzilla, or Transmit. This is a desktop program that enables us to copy and transfer files from our computer to the web server. We'll be using the Fuzilla FTP client in this lesson. You can download Fuzilla for free at fuzilla-project.org. Finally, we will also need a web browser like Internet Explorer. However, Firefox or Safari are better because they support all of the advanced features of WordPress. Now that we've got all the ingredients, let's learn how to install WordPress manually via FTP. The first thing to do is to create a database on the web server for WordPress. To do this, log into the control panel and click MySQL Databases. Now I'm going to create a new database. Next, I return to the same page to add a new MySQL user. Take note of this password because we'll need it later. The final step here is to add the user to the database and then make sure that the user has all the database privileges. So great, this step is done. Now let's download the latest version of WordPress from the wordpress.org website. Go to the download page and click the download button. Save the zip file to your downloads folder or desktop. When the download is complete, locate the newly downloaded zip file. Right click on it and then choose Extract Files. The result is a folder that contains the files that makes up the WordPress software. Open up the folder and look for the wp-config-sample.php file. Open the file in a text editor like Notepad or Textpad on Windows or Text Edit or BB Edit on the Mac. Do not use a word processor like Microsoft Word. It will mess up the file. Then rename the file by saving it as wp-config.php. Be sure to change the file type to all files if you are using Notepad. Once that's done, scroll down and locate the MySQL settings. Replace these placeholder values with the database name, database user, and database user password that we created in the previous step. This information tells WordPress how to connect to the database that we created earlier. Finally, we should always change the database prefix as this helps make our website more secure. Just delete the WP portion and type in anything else. That's all we need to do right now. But if you need to, you can modify the other advanced settings below. Save the file and then quit your text editor. Now we need to upload these files to the web server using FTP. I'll switch to my FTP client FileZilla and look for the WordPress files on my hard drive.
Then I'll enter the FTP details provided to me by my web host and connect to the web server. Most FTP clients work the same. On the left hand side, you'll see the files on your own computer and on the right, you'll see the directory on our web server. My website files are stored in the public underscore HTML directory. So I double click on it to enter that directory. Right now, we see that there are already some files in the public underscore HTML directory. These are the default files and the welcome page that we see when we load the website in the browser. Since we will be installing WordPress here, we can safely delete everything. The exception are any directories for add-on sites that you may have added. This is the website folder for another domain that I've added through the control panel, so I won't delete this. I'm going to right click and choose delete. Once the files have been deleted, I'll simply select the WordPress files on the left and drag them to the right, which will begin copying those files to the web server. This will take some time, so now is a good time to take a break and grab yourself a beverage. And we're back. The files have finished uploading and we are now ready to install WordPress. Load up your website in a web browser again. Now instead of the default welcome page, you should get the WordPress install screen. Now we have to fill out a few details including our site's title and admin username and password. This is your WordPress admin username and password. For additional security, you should not use the default admin username. Change it to something unique. We will also need to provide an email address and choose whether or not we want our site to appear in search engines. Click install and WordPress will install itself on the web server. Great, and now we can log in with the WordPress username and password that we chose earlier. Let's have a look. And now the previously blank page has been replaced by a WordPress website. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've now installed WordPress and you are ready to publish your content to the world. Let's do a quick review. To install WordPress via FTP, we will first need to create a MySQL database and user through the control panel. Next, we'll download the latest version of WordPress from wordpress.org. We will then need to edit the wp-config.php file to enter the database details from the previous step. Then we'll upload those files to our web server using FTP. And lastly, we'll complete the installation by running the installation script. I hope you found this lesson useful. In the next lesson, we'll log into WordPress and explore the admin area. I want to remind you that we provide additional content and a support forum to registered members of click2launch.net. Sign up for a free membership by visiting this link.